since we're on this role of reviewing our reactions to stoichiometry, we should be mindful to uh, recognize that sometimes you don't have enough of one reactant or another. And this type of a, a situation is the more normal situation. You don't always have exact stoichiometric ratios of um, the reactants. Normally you have excess one or the other. And so this type of problem is called a limiting reagent or limiting reactant type problem. You may remember doing them in pre-AP chemistry. Um, but anyway, in this particular type of a question, it goes like this. How many grams of carbon dioxide are formed when 55 grams of butane reacts with 45.5 grams of oxygen? Okay, we have a pile of butane and we have a pile of oxygen, and we want to know how much carbon dioxide is going to be formed in that case. Well, um, you have to figure out, to, to figure out how much is formed, you have to figure out which of these two reactants is your limiting reagent or limiting reactant. And there's a lot of different ways um, to do that. Um, people learn in different ways. Um, but I think the most common way that people learn in high school is that um, they compare the ratio of the number of moles for each reactant that are necessary from the balanced chemical equation to the actual ratio of the number of moles available for the particular reaction. So to do that, what you have to do is you have to um, calculate the number of moles of each reagent and then you calculate the available mole ratio of the reagents and then you determine the required mole ratio from the chemical equation and then you compare the available to the required to determine which one is the limiting reagent. That's what that means. So um, why don't I just show you how to do it this way and then I can show you um, another way uh, of doing it if that's confusing. Sometimes people get all hung up on this because they um, get bogged down in the ratios. So I'll show you two different ways to do it. It doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you pick away and, um, and you're comfortable with it and you're not freaked out every time you see a limiting reagent problem.